it's Katie with Hill Country Hands. Thank you for joining us on our channel today. Today's video is going to be our birth vlog. I'm super excited to get to film this video right now. It is Tuesday night, about 9 o'clock on June 2nd. We are supposed to be at the hospital tomorrow, June 3rd at between 4.30 and 5 in the morning and my c-section is scheduled for seven so we are about to go to bed hopefully try to get some sleep i'm pretty nervous and just anxious and excited and i don't know how much i'll be able to sleep but hoping that we can get a little bit of sleep tonight just really excited i can't believe that i'm 39 weeks and that it, the big day is tomorrow finally we're about to change my bag for my Zofrian for like the last time, hopefully, in a few minutes. I can't wait to get the pick out and just feel better for my hyperemesis. It's been such a long journey. I've, I've been so sick since November about my pick and getting the Finnegan every couple hours and the Zofrian continuously. I've, I'm really sick without it. And even with it, still not very, feeling very good. I don't know what I'm gonna do when I feel back to normal. I'm going to be so grateful and thankful to not have to deal with this condition anymore. But just excited, nervous. I hope baby's doing okay. I hope my hyperemesis hasn't affected the baby at all. Um, my bump is really big. I've gained quite a bit of weight the last month or two, so I feel like baby should be a good size, but I hope everything else is okay. So we are going to get some sleep, hopefully, and I will give y'all an update in the morning. We're supposed to call around between, I guess, like three and four, just to make sure that everything's still set, that they still have a room and everything. So hopefully it goes good and they, we have a room so we can go meet baby. Here is my bump. 39 weeks. I was never this big with McKinsey. So big. But so excited and grateful and just thankful that we get to complete our family tomorrow. We are about to pull into the hospital. It is about 4.30. We're supposed to be there between 4.30 and 5. I'm getting pretty nervous. My nausea is pretty bad just from not having anything in my stomach right now and already being up for a while but it will hopefully all be over soon all the hyperemesis stuff we will be there soon Hello. life is a winding road no telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I We are parking the car, about to go in Let's do this <laughs> Let's go have a baby falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down We are in the little room waiting for them to um, I guess get some labs and hook me up to like an IV. I think they're gonna be able to use the pick line, which is really good instead of having to get a IV. So we're just waiting. Feel this 
this way Don't know what you do Hold my hand Could you hold my hand Look me in the eyes You and me Yeah, that's all I need And I'll be recovery it is noon so it's been a few hours uh, c-section went really good it didn't feel great I felt pretty sick right after they got him out but I got a lot of good meds feeling better they took my pig line out which has been amazing it feels so much better he's doing good are still in recovery just because they don't have a room available for us yet everything's going good i can't believe we have a baby boy it's so exciting it was a big surprise still and we're just in love with him already i can't believe that he's finally here baby with daddy the baby whisperer he has been a little bit fussy he seems like he's hungry but he's not really latching right now he fed really good right after the delivery he'll figure it out so we are up in our room now it took a while to be able to come up to a room but we didn't get up here until around three i think and it is almost six right now so it's been a long day i was feeling pretty good for a while i'm no nausea really and not a ton of pain just like some un discomfort kind of but the last hour and a half or so, I've been in a lot of pain, even despite having the Motrin and the Norco. And I've been having some nausea. They did give me some Zofran. I think that's normal to probably feel like that though. I think just like the, I'm starting to be able to feel my legs and move my legs more and stuff like that. So, so when they did the spinal epidural thing, uh, they had some morphine, I think, in that. So that uh, was helping with the pain for a while, but I think it's like worn off now. So I think it's normal, but it did just hit me like pretty hard all of a sudden in the last couple hours, just how bad I really am feeling right now. But we're doing good, baby's good. They were a little bit worried about jaundice. I guess one of his first labs came back a little high, but they've checked him again and said he's good. Pediatrician came by, said that he looks good. And I did ask to see a lactation consultant just because I felt like he's not eating as much as he should. The first um, feeding that we did when we first got to the recovery area, he fed really good for about 15 minutes, but then the rest of the day he hasn't really wanted to. He's been kind of fussy off and on, I mean, as much as a newborn would be, but he doesn't seem to really want to eat. I was concerned about that, but the pediatrician said that he's had so many wet diapers, I think he's had four at this point, that he's doing good, That's I don't need to worry. He said he'd still send a lactation consultant in to talk to us just to make sure that everything looks good and see if we can get any tips or anything that I may have forgotten since it's been a while breastfeeding a newborn. It's a little bit different than breastfeeding a toddler, I feel. They also wanted me to try to at least walk to the bathroom. I still have my Foley catheter in. I think they said like maybe around one o'clock in the morning they're gonna take that out. They wait 18 hours, I guess and I'm still getting fluids, I'm still getting Pitocin, and then the morphine that they gave me made me super itchy, but I actually ended up like scratching a piece of skin out of the corner of my nose because I was itching so bad. The mask on too just made it worse, and I, I could not stop itching earlier. It's gotten better, I'm still a little bit itchy, but I can't believe that I scratched like a chunk of skin off it was so bad we've had a really good day and we're just soaking up time with hunter and my parents came by for a few minutes they each stayed about 20 minutes or so and Mackenzie was in the car so they just took turns and Justin went out uh, while they were here since it's only one visitor at a time he looks a lot like Mackenzie sometime before we leave he'll be circumcised so I think they're gonna try to give him a bath soon really happy and I can't believe that we have a boy. We really wanted one of each, like, really badly. We are very excited that it is a boy. We would have been excited if it was a girl as well, but 
I just feel like it completes our family. He's just so perfect. I can't believe he's ours. Today is uh, Thursday, June 4th, and it's our second day in the hospital. We had the C-section yesterday and got to meet our baby, Hunter. Hi. He's doing really good. He had a pretty good night last night. Slept pretty well. He wasn't nursing as much last night, but this morning he really started nursing more and seems to have a good latch. I haven't slept very much at all. I've just been in pain and I've had like itchiness. My nausea has been pretty good. I've only had to take Zofran a couple of times and I think that's just to be expected like with a c-section and being in pain. have been in a little bit more pain than I figured I would be and just I'm still itchy so it's hard to sleep whenever you feel itchy like that but they've been staying on top of my pain meds and Benadryl and I am hanging in there. I, my left foot is still pretty numb so that's preventing me from getting the catheter out and being able to walk around which I think would help. I'm also having like the gas pains. I had that with my appendix out. It's just like I guess trapped gas so my shoulders and like my back will like have a sharp pain every once in a while and it's positional so if I change position it gets better or worse if I could get up and walk around that would get better hopefully I start getting more feeling back in that foot so that we can get the catheter out and walk around a little bit being to go home tomorrow originally she had said probably two days hopefully that's still the plan Hunter got his hearing test today. He passed that. He got like his hepatitis shot last night. Hmm. Daddy's over there watching his shows. Look at that baby. Hmm. We just love him so much already. My arm where the pick was, it doesn't look pretty. Hopefully it doesn't scar too bad, but it feels so much better. As soon as she took it out, it stopped hurting. This one is from the old one, the first one that I had. So it definitely left a scar. So I think this one probably will too, but that's okay. He was definitely worth it. And gonna lay here on the grass. I got a shower 
which was uncomfortable during, but I feel much better. Getting clean and being able to shower was nice. Um, I am having still like pretty much complete numbness in that left foot, so it's really hard to walk around, which is just weird, but they're not sure when that will get better. So like staying another night in the hospital wasn't really gonna like change that. So hopefully it slowly gets better but I am having like some just dizziness and not feeling well after walking around just because I'm not used to it. They didn't take the catheter out until last night, so I haven't really walked around very much, so just standing up while taking a shower and getting ready and everything has kind of like worn me out. But we are just waiting for I think another 30 minutes or so uh, for them to check him to make sure that he's good to go after his circumcision they're just keeping an eye on like bleeding and stuff like that so Justin is taking a couple loads to the car because we ended up with quite a few bags <laughs> and he went to get the car seat he's gonna bring it in just to make sure that we have it all set up right he's been sleeping a lot especially after his circumcision I'm super excited to go home and see Mackenzie and see how she reacts to him I hope it goes okay I think it will but I don't know toddlers are unpredictable sometimes and she hasn't really been around a lot of other kids so um, and I don't think she's ever seen a baby except for on TV so I don't know we'll see how it goes mom and dad are supposed to meet us at the house with her we we're just very excited and happy and feel so blessed and I'm so thankful that it seems like my hyperemesis stuff is much better. Still having some nausea, um, really just whenever I get up and walk around. I still haven't eaten a whole lot so I think if I start making sure I'm eating every couple hours like a snack, I think that'll help. I think it's more just post c-section, not eating great while we were in the hospital kind of thing more so than hyperemesis because uh, with the hyperemesis it was pretty constant it wasn't better or worse really with like movement but this is more like when I stand up and then when I walk around and when I start feeling worse like more pain I guess so I think the nausea is getting worse with the because my pain is worse it will all be okay though hopefully in the next few weeks I'll start feeling a whole lot better I'm kind of worried about my foot situation but the doctors don't seem to be too worried they said that it happens it's not super common but that since I can move it and I do have some feeling and I'm able to put weight on it and it has like a good pulse and good circulation it is a little bit more swollen than the other foot and it feels like cold and the other one doesn't. They don't seem to be too worried about it. I feel like if it's still this bad next week, maybe I need to go to the doctor. All in all, it was like a really good um, birth experience. I feel like to have to have a C-section, it went really well. I was so happy with our doctor. I love our doctor. And the anesthesiologist was amazing. She was so on it with helping me feel better like right away. Just very reassuring. She was she was awesome. I was so glad that we got to have our nurse that helped deliver Mackenzie. Uh, we've been, we've kept up with her just, you know, through Facebook and because we work at the same hospital. So we've kept up with her a little bit and I made sure to ask her if she was working the day that we were scheduled and she was and I was just really excited that she could be here to help us. Uh, she's so sweet and it just makes it really special that she helped deliver Hunter and Mackenzie and uh, it just made for a really good experience. I still can't believe she decorated our little bassinet crib for us. I'm sad to have to leave it. I wish we could take it home. Prized us with this. It's all like a uh, ribbon on both sides with blue for a boy. It's so sweet. I She's so, so sweet. It just made for a really good experience, especially because I was really nervous about the C-section and just everything. I was nervous. So having a familiar face, having her here just made it so much better. But we're just so excited. It's been 
a good hospital stay, but we're ready to be home with Mackenzie. Then I just I can't believe that we're a family of four now. And I don't know. I just can't stop looking at him and don't want to get emotional about it, but he's so perfect. He's just he's perfect and I love him so much. I love him so so much already. We're very, very blessed. I lose my breath whenever I see you. You stole my heart. What is it that you do? Till you added color 